Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and today I have an unboxing for you. So I went whole hogs on the for the Mercy Tiara kits second kit called Brighter Days and I thought so sort of the rationale because you do know I'm on a spending freeze. Uh, Tracy kindly sent me uh, the first kit, which I have so enjoyed working with. And uh, I got, I think at the time of recording this, I got six layouts done. And I still have, for sure, I'm definitely going to get about ten layouts out of that kit. So then I thought, you know, I think I'm going to go and get and buy the second kit, but I'm going to buy the add-ons with it as well. And then sort of make that my main scrapbooking supplies for the summer. Now, you know I like to do collection obsession and I will definitely be, be doing that. How to Kill a Kit with Style, which is more themed related this year. So I'll see how I can integrate that. But I've not been doing as well choosing supplies with that I've been using the theme as a theme so we'll see where that goes but I thought you know I'll do uh, July I'll do my collection obsession it will likely be a bit of a bigger collection and then I will have this kit and that will sort of span um, my July and August as I work a little bit more with uh, Jojo being on holiday right now, uh, then, you know, I want to take a little bit of holiday as well and, and maybe um, go to Cornwall for a few days. So I thought, you know, if I sort of rein it in even a little bit more than usual, I will have some easier decisions to still get my memories in the albums. And of course, I want to be doing quite a bit because July is off the board and I still haven't finished uh, 30 days of sketches of course so let's have a look at all of this gorgeousness so I got the main kit I got the pattern paper add-on now the main kit is very very generous already as it has 12 pieces of pattern paper so We'll see, and as I said, with the first kit, I'm going to get tons of layouts done. So, this might have been a little overkill on my part, but there you go. They are some, there are some gorgeous papers, and that way I don't have to negotiate with myself front to back. I got the add-on kit as well. So, let's look, because I'll spend a little bit more time on the papers than on the bits and pieces because Tracy um, has done a lovely, lovely walkthrough, full walkthrough of the kit on her channel. So I'll put that down below. I'll spend a little bit more time for me on the papers because I will give you an idea of maybe what I see and how I m might put some of these together. So we have some simple stories. In total, we have some sim simple stories flea market we have some pink fresh spring vibes and we have american crafts and i think i believe this oh it's written right there maggie holmes woodland grove specialty paper so i think those are the main collections that we have in this month's kit so, the pink fresh enamel dots. Um, you know I'm more of a sequin uh, gal lately, but I did use these with the first kit, and I will use them. We have the flea market, the Simple Stories flea market journal bits. So, that to me, I am pleased to get that more so than the die cuts. Uh, per se, because as you, you know, I struggle a little bit with die cuts. I've start, stopped buying them for myself for the most part, but the journaling bits, there are some, you know, tags and journaling cards and labels. So these, I think, will be a lot more usable. So as I said, Tracy has a full 
walkthrough of the kit. And so does Shannon, actually, over on uh, her channel. She's crafty. Shannon is on Tracy's design team. Then we have some Pink Fresh. And this is from the Delightful collection. So, oh, and so are the enamel dots. So we have two Pink Fresh collections here. We've got Spring Vibes and delightful and you can see already here how they go and match perfectly with the simple stories and i like these these are interesting um i think i've got another pack in a collection that i bought a couple of years ago i need to use these more because they are like flare they are of course a lot thinner because they're quite a thin chipboard as well so these are fun that then tracy brought back an older thicker set is there a date on this 2015 eclair this block which has both you know scripty and not and i um i have some of these in my stash so i'll be able to supplement if i need to and in fact i should probably go and get those and finish using what I have before opening these. And then we have the card stock stickers here from Pink Fresh Delightful. Okay, now, am I mistaken then? Are, no, the collection for the papers is Spring Vibes. So we do have the two and they work beautifully together. So I'll put this to the side then I will come back with the add-on kit after we do the papers. So, as I mentioned, I did get uh, the add-on as well. So, Simple Stories here, I have Flea Market. Love, love, love. This is a lovely floral. There, And the pinks are not too jarring to me here. I think because it's got lots of gorgeous teal in there and a little bit more of the peachy colors as well it's a lovely lovely floral this is not a fussy cutting one but definitely i think this could actually be used as a full background because it's not too large the print the florals are not too large but it could definitely also be used for a one third two thirds and then you see the other side. Now you see, there you go. Already thrilled that I got the paper, the add-on, because this would have been such a difficult choice. So love, love, love that. Thrilled already. Now let's see how much am I in frame. All right, let's try and do that. We'll see. I'll probably run out of room, my friends, but... There we go. Now we have a lovely plaid here in the golden yellows with a little bit of pink, which is very, very usable. And the back side of that. Oh, these are both um, Shannon and Tracy were talking about them. These are fun. It's sort of like a a wall. You know, I, I have my inspiration wall, which I've shown you before, which are frames. But, you know, people have plates. These could be fussy cut. This is fun. This definitely, to me, would be items that I would fussy cut. Now, I don't know that I would need a full page of these fussy cut, but I'm definitely happy that I can, I can use this one as a background and do some fussy cutting here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That's with Simple Stories Flea Market as well. And then here, oh, we have a lot. We have some Paige Evans. My goodness me, how did I forget that as well? This is Paige Evans, and this one is Blooming Wild, paper number 13. And again, all of these lovely, lovely labels that can be fussy cut. So you see, if really... Um, your budget doesn't extend to getting the add-on and additional embellishments. Well, first of all, the main kit has plenty of embellishments, actually. You can, you can just, you know, with the first kit, um, I really just work within the kit, and I, it, it's very, very well balanced. 
and I added, you know, some of some sequins maybe from my own stash, a few acrylic pieces, and maybe some flair, which are bits that I enjoy using, and a few Nicole Jones printables. But on the whole, I worked within the kit and definitely had plenty. So, uh, but if, you know, you wanted to extend your embellishments, or we'll see, now that I have, you know, the double papers, these will likely come in handy and then the gorgeous navy with of course the branding strip up at the top now how are we doing okay this is not so bad then the next paper we have here is from back to simple stories flea market and all of these lovely vintage cameras and sort of a vintage now this is not the background to me is not really cream. I see a very, very faint greeny yellow, maybe chartreuse kind of color in that. So quite vintagey, not distressed, but quite vintagey. Now, again, this I think would be awesome for a heritage page um, as a chunk, either, you know, one third, two thirds or um, or this way, or Tracy da, uh, has done a lovely layout where she sort of cut around to do um, like a half and half layout, but not uh, a straight strip, which I think was quite a fun idea. And the back of this one is just a very, very versatile grid. So that is very usable. And then we have, so there are 12 pattern papers in the main kit and therefore also 12 in the add-on. So this now is Pink Fresh Studios Spring Vibes. Does this have a name? Just Spring Vibes. There you go. Oh, soak it up. Soak it up. And it is a lovely ombre do you do we still if it's two different colors do we still call it ombre oh, questions questions so from a darker pink that almost has a tiny tiny little bit of orangey pink into pink dusty pink pale pink into the yellows down into the golden yellow this is lovely and you can see how we have three collections here and Tracy really 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 Tracy you're a natural there is definitely I mean these match beautifully together they match and they complement one another so and the reverse of that is just a very usable chevron in a pale gray and then she also always brings in some more neutrals that can be backgrounds, but that go very well with that. Now, is that pale gray? No, there is a very, very light tinge of that lovely lavender lilac purple. So no, it's more of a very pale lilac. Oh, that makes me even happier. Love, love, and it matches, you see, it matches the simple stories perfectly. I hope you saw that. <laughs> so, now, next we have Wildflower. So, Simple Stories Wildflower. So, a fourth collection um, that we brought in here. This is also lovely. So, this is in the creams and a lovely navy. Simple Stories, gorgeous. And the back of that are these lovely moths and butterflies. So we have a, some moths and some butterflies. And this sort of has a gray -y aqua uh, background, just lovely as well. So, so far, I'm really, really, really happy because there is not one paper yet that um, I said i'm saying to myself ah, that one i could do without so i'm really happy because i like both sides of everything now this 
This one here, I would tend to use. Now, if I used this as a background, I think I would use some tracing paper or vellum behind my photo block and maybe do even a little bit of whitewash. Or if I use it as a one third, two thirds, I would use it this way and have the stripes on the horizontal with uh, a solid band and one photo sort of in the middle and a little bit of diagonal embellishing. I think I might try that. I think I would like that. So there we go. Let's put that back in here. Are we still seeing everything so far so good? Then we have, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do here? Oh, there we go. All right. Let me get that done. Then we have another, <clears throat> excuse me, Paige Evans from Blooming Wild. Lovely, lovely watercolor hearts and beautiful rainbow colors. And the back of that is a gorgeous, gorgeous, bright yellow. Again, very, very usable. So again, my friends, I'm thrilled. These tiny florals, which probably Paige Evans, yes, Paige Evans, beautiful little florals, and these go again from a gorgeous golden yellow into more of an orangey pinks, dusty pinks, um, peachy salmony colors, and back down into the golden yellow. So that is, I think I might like to use this as a background actually. I think I might like to use this as a background. And the back side of that is all sorts of border strips, stitched border strips of varying uh, widths. And I would tend to use them, I think, on the rainbow side. But we'll see. We'll see as the, as the layout goes. Because this, for instance, this band here might be lovely to divide sort of a one-third, two-third, whether it be on the horizontal or the vertical. So these strips might be perfect for that. Then we have a larger floral, the same shape of the flowers, larger on a white background, but they it is a fairly tight pattern. You know that I have a little bit of trouble when I find... Uh, the, the patterns to spread out. But this is still quite a tight pattern into the pinks, purples, aquas. So that is quite, quite lovely as well. And the back side of that is absolutely stunning. My friend, stunning, stunning. Now, so this actually, because I we do have this lovely floral over here, I might use two of these, although I don't know. So <laughs> I have two of the paper and I still, still have a difficult um, decision to make. And then we also have from Pink Fresh, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, golden yellow with a white polka dot. Now you see here is an example for me. I would like this to be a little bit tighter. So a few more polka dots, <laughs> a few more. I don't think I would want them bigger. I, I think the size is perfect, but I would like a few more. This to me is a little spread out for what I normally do, but that's, that's really me being awfully, awfully picky, my friends. And then this lovely, uh, very, very pale pink. And it has, it's a warmer pink. So I really, really do like this one. So I could definitely use that pink. We then have sort of like a pre-made watercolor background in the pastel rainbow shades, which is also from Pink Fresh. And this is from delightful. So th this I do absolutely love as well, my friends. This I do love. Um, this Tracy has already done a layout with this and she's sort of 
used the uh, some of these cubes. In fact, I have that layout. Um, I have that layout set aside to scrap with because I really, really love that one. If I can think of it and if I can remember, I'll actually put that specific video um, down here. So we have that. And then, um, my, uh, let me see, and then put that one back here. So those are all the papers. Now, can I just bring that over a bit more so that you can see them all? There we go. And then last but not least is the specialty paper that Tracy put not in the add-on, but in the main kit and therefore paper add-on. So we have two of this gorgeous foiled Woodland Grove floral. So I love that because um, I'm going to fussy cut one of these out. Uh, I do enjoy my fussy cutting, so I'm going to fussy cut one of those out for sure. So those are the papers, uh, and I am definitely glad that I got two of each. Now let's find one that is very pale. There we go. Okay, so that I'll bring this back here. We, and we saw the main kit. So now the add-on to the kit. Now, the add-on I got, and and in, in as we say in French, en toute connaissance de cause, knowing, um, knowing what I was getting myself in for. So knowing exactly what's coming because the add-on is going to be a little, well, I'm thrilled with a couple of, I'm thrilled with it all, but there are a couple of bits in there that are going to be rather challenging for me. So let's start with the most challenging, my friends, these gorgeous washi tapes. And everybody gets two, we, we, nobody gets the same washi, well, some of us will for sure, but I believe in the washi tape pack, there are maybe six or eight. So basically everybody will get a thin washi tape. So this is uh, maybe a little bit more, uh, probably about a quarter of an inch, a bit more than a quarter uh, of an inch, maybe, maybe three eighths. It is lovely. It is absolutely lovely. And then everybody, let's see if we put that there. It is gorgeous. Put that there. And then everybody gets a wider one, but they are randomly chosen. And I got this gorgeous floral. So they are lovely. And these are from Simple Stories Flea Market. So, but... You know me and washi tape. You know that washi tape and I have <laughs> gone through divorce court and I basically have none left, just maybe a few, uh, three or four here and there that, that I use to um, sort of, you know, when I frame my background to sort of seal the edges and that kind of thing. So I am going to make a valiant attempt to actually use these with this kit throughout the summer. Uh, we'll see how I do. I have trouble with washi tape. And I know I can put it on white and um, then <laughs> cut it out. I, I just, I don't know, I don't gravitate towards it. So this will be interesting. Then the other thing that is challenging for me are vellum uh vellum die cuts because of for exactly the same reason but these are absolutely gorgeous and i love them when i look at vellum pieces like this or um clear stickers uh acetate um i love them all i find them very very challenging to use but now look at that see right on there that looks beautiful okay so Maybe not as challenging. This is definitely not as challenging as washi tape, but it is in the challenging category for me. And again, I won't go through them all. Just pop on over to Tracy or Shannon's cha uh, channels. But these are lovely. They are lovely. A little bit of a challenge for me. So there we go. Now, 
Tracy did, and that is very, very lovely of her. She did an exclusive sequin mix. You guys know I'm on the uh, Spiegel Mom Scraps design team, so I have sequins for every single and every, every occasion, but this is a lovely, lovely add to the add-on kit for sure. Now into, so I mean, I, I love these. I, I, I just, you know, as you know, I'm on a sequin design team, so I will be using those. So maybe this will wind up in a giveaway. Or maybe I'll just, you know, use them with the kit anyway. So now the bits that I am thrilled with, of course, foam stickers. I love me some foam. These are from the Simple Stories Flea Market. Mainly, I guess, are they actually called titles? They are not. Oh, there are some floor. There are some icons and hearts. and But there are an awful lot of title options on this. And then we have the flea market chipboard stickers as well. So these are fun. These, are, these give me a little bit of a vintage-y vibe and I, I and I guess the whole collection is meant to give off that sort of mood and feel uh, from the title flea market so and you know you can see this lovely key again one of these plates so lots of oh do I still have some of these gorgeous pyrex bowls I hope I do I hope I do I don't know I used to for sure for sure have some of these bowls and here then, last but not least, the Simple Stories Wildflower sticker sheet. Oh, look at that kitty. Oh, the birds. We have a moth, some florals, a butterfly. And Simple Stories always have these lovely word stickers as part of their larger sticker sheets. Uh, a title here that we can use or a partial title. So, oh, I, I do love these sort of layered ones. These I do really, really enjoy. So, now, the other thing that makes me quite happy with this kit, my friends, is I don't have any of these collections because, you know, I've been on my spending freeze and I've been quite good. Well, spending free, I would say more buying with intent because I did use my Christmas money. Uh, I did win a gift certificate, so I did a little bit of International Scrapbooking Day shopping um, but I've been very very intentional on what I have bought when I have bought so I have not bought any of this uh, I do love simple stories so I'm thrilled to have some of that I did not get any of the page events I was very 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 tempted to get but um, I'm, I only allowed myself uh, one I gave myself a, a, a sort of pass for the Vicky Booten where to next. So I did not allow myself to get any page Evans. So I'm thrilled that I have some in here. And Pink Fresh, I have some. I love Pink Fresh. I don't gravitate towards it. I haven't bought any in a very long time. So I'm thrilled that I get some in a kit because it will get me using um, and supporting the back way of uh, Pink Fresh Studio. So there you go, my friends. So I will have Tracy's and Shannon's unboxings to this so that you can look more closely at all of the bits and pieces. And I will start using this probably in July because I'm going to come back with a wrap up on the June, um, on my June scrapbooking and how I used the May kit. So this is actually the June kit. Tracy releases mid-month. Oh, and as of next month, there's going to be a cardstock add-on, my friends. So I will see you back here very, very soon. Bye for now.